How's it going everybody? Welcome back. And here's a quick video just to show you guys how you can get NordVPN to work on Call of Duty. Specifically, Modern Warfare 2 or Warzone 2. So if that's something you're interested in, I'm going to share with you guys a couple of tips to get NordVPN to work with uh, Warzone or Call of Duty or whatever Call of Duty you're playing really, it doesn't matter. There are a few things that you want to keep in mind. So first of all, you want to be using the best performing protocol. So you're going to go to connection right here and choose Nord Links. This is the fastest and best performing protocol, so make sure you're using it, okay? That's one. Two, you wanna make sure that you're connecting to the VPN server that is closest to your game server. And let me just bring up the Call of Duty Warzone servers right here. And we have a bunch of servers, as you can tell right here. So let's see. Obviously, there are so many state servers, a bunch of uh, European servers, and uh, one Middle Eastern server, a couple here, and a few right here in the east. Let's say you want to connect somewhere in the European region. You know, in my case, I am somewhere in the European region, so that's where I'm going to want to connect. Okay, say I'm living in Portugal for the sake of the example. The closest server to me is going to be the Madrid server, so it's in Spain. So I'm not going to connect to Paris or uh, London or Amsterdam. I want to connect to the closest server to me, okay? So once you locate the closest game server to you, or even, I mean, if you want to connect to other servers, you can certainly do that. You will suffer just a little bit, but you can maintain a low ping as long as you connect to the VPN server that is closest to your game server. So this can work even if you have a bad ping with your ISP and you connect to a server that's a little bit further away from you, you can still get better ping if your ISP isn't exactly blessing you with the best of connection or best of ping. So in this case, I want to just minimize the ping as much as possible. So I know there's a server right here in Madrid. So what I'll do is connect to Spain, okay? And let's just go ahead and do that. But first of all, I'm going to, uh, okay, so let's just expand this a little bit so that we can see everything. I'm going to quit Steam. That's the first thing I want to do. Okay. And then I'm going to connect, let's just say, yeah, I think the Rome server, let's just go with Spain. Okay. We'll go with Spain and we'll connect to Spain. Italy is actually a bit closer to me, but we'll just go with Spain and see what happens. Typically, my ping is around, you know, 70 to 100 with Warzone. So now that I'm connected to Spain, I'm actually minimizing the distance between the VPN server and the game server so that they're right next to each other. Essentially, they're in the same country. And that way, I'm going to be getting really good ping. So this is pretty much the best way to minimize your ping, especially if you're having ping issues. And once we've done that, we're going to go to Steam settings and go to download region and make sure that the download region also matches the region we're connected to. So we're looking for Spain. Let's just go with Madrid, right? Are we connected to a specific place here? Spain? Not really. Let's see the page right here. It is in Madrid. So we're going to just keep the download region in Madrid. We're going to click OK and we'll go ahead and restart Steam. And there we go. This is pretty much all the steps that you need to make NordVPN work well with uh, Modern Warfare 2 or any other Call of Duty that you're playing. And that's pretty much it for this video. Of course, make sure that you're using a wired connection and that your cable, your Ethernet cable, is not an out of date cable. It's you know, maybe a cat four or a cat five or a cat six and whatever other measures that you can use to reduce packet loss. Uh, you know, if you're running a discord in the background, of course, it's going to take from your connection. If you're running any uh, Chrome pages, make sure that they're all closed so that you avoid increasing your latency. And so that's how you can get NordVPN to work with Call of Duty. If you guys are interested in learning a little bit more about NordVPN with regards to the privacy policy, speed, streaming, and torrenting capabilities, as well as security features, you'll find the full review down below, and you'll find links to pricing discounts if you'd like to jump straight to those. There's a 30-day money-back guarantee anyway, so in case you're not satisfied, you can just get yourself the refund. Go ahead and test that method out, and let me know in the comments down below about your findings. 
and like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything vpns and cybersecurity thank you guys very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one have a wonderful day